Resolve offers the possibility to synchronize image and sound material in different ways, both manually and automatically using audio or timecode. In the following video, I'll show you the advantages and disadvantages of the different methods and how they work. First, we have to make a fundamental distinction between a scene that was recorded with multiple cameras plus audio and a scene which only one camera and external sound should be combined. Let's start with the semi-manual path, which consists of two cameras and one audio track. Camera 1, camera 2 and sound. If you put them on top of each other in the timeline, you can either synchronize them manually or Resolve synchronizes them for you. To do this, select all clips, right click and then auto align clips. Here you can choose between timecode and waveform. As the name suggests, one synchronizes based on timecode, the other by sound. The image and sound material should now be synchronized in the timeline. To create a multicam clip that is more convenient to edit and cut, select the two camera clips and the sound clip, right click and new multicam clip. Give the whole thing a suitable name and importantly set angle sync to the method with which the clips should be synchronized automatically. In my case, timecode. Resolve now creates a multicam clip and puts the raw material in a subfolder, original clips, for clarity reasons. If you drag the clip into the timeline, you'll only see one camera angle at first. To see a multicam viewer, click on the small icon in the lower left corner and select Multicam. You'll now see the multicam preview on the left. At the bottom of the viewer, you can choose what you want to cut. Image and sound, image only or sound only. So I put a cut to the external sound at the beginning and then select only video. Now I can cut live with a click on the respective preview image. If you notice that something has not been synchronized correctly in an automatically synchronized multicam clip, then it is possible to synchronize and create a multicam clip manually. Quick side note before we get manual. If you have determined that only the recordings with timecode from one device are always moved by the same number of frames, you can go into the clip attributes and set the timecode to move back or forward by a number of frames you need. This unfortunately works at least currently in Resolve 18 only with individual clips, not with a large selection. Back to the manual multi-clip. Just like in the beginning, lay all clips on top of each other in a new timeline and synchronize them correctly. You can use a combination of automatic and then manual adjustments here. Then you can convert the timeline into a multicam clip with a right click. This can now be dragged into the timeline like a normal multicam clip. The disadvantages of multicam clips in general, you have to create them individually. If you only want to synchronize one camera and external sound in a project, then there is a much easier and more convenient way. As you probably know, you can right click on a clip and clip attributes to check how many audio tracks your video material has and how they are configured. In this case, stereo recording with two channels. To merge the material, select the two clips, right click and auto sync audio. Again, you can choose whether the synchronization should be done based on the timecode or the waveform. The two variants with and append tracks should add the audio track to the video clip. If you now look into the attributes, you'll see that after synchronizing, it contains both the original stereo tracks from the camera and the newly synchronized sound from the external sound recorder. This method of synchronization also works if, for example, you have recorded 80 video clips and 80 audio clips. Simply select all clips and say how they should be synchronized and all the material will be synchronized with the appropriate clips. The whole thing also works if the audio recorder has recorded over a longer period of time, but the cameras have been stopped and restarted in between. 
For example, if you synchronize a long audio clip with three video clips recorded at the same time but with interruptions, you will then find the newly synchronized audio track with the appropriate sections of the long audio recording in each clip. If you now drag a synchronized video clip into the timeline, all audio tracks are directly included as if they had been recorded together. If you then don't want the camera's internal sound to be displayed and loaded into the timeline, you can remove it in the clip attributes. This also works with a selection of several clips at the same time. I remove the camera's internal sound here and then only have the synchronized sound from the external recording device left. The advantage should be clear. If you only want to synchronize audio with video, creating a multicam clip for every clip would be much more complex and difficult to configure than this workflow.